Hi, I'm Richie Castellano. Today, I'm looking at the Exonic Airstep. I have the Airstep right here, and down here, I have the Airstep light. We're gonna get into that a little later. Basically, this has all of the uh, relay and MIDI outputs and inputs on the back, and this has just an antenna, and we're gonna talk about why a little later. Now we're looking at the back of the Airstep. You're gonna notice something different than most MIDI controllers. This has two MIDI outs. Most of them have one. This is cool because you don't have to do through or loops. You can actually just plug the individual units into this, which works really well. You have two foot switch outs, but don't be deceived. These are ring tip, meaning you can control two different things from each of these foot switch jacks, meaning you can control four things. Things meaning relay switches, uh, tap tempo, amp switching, anything you can think of. Anything that has a quarter inch jack where you can control something externally, you can do it from here. Uh, you also have a MIDI in, you have a USB and a MIDI in for receiving information. Uh, two expression pedals, uh, so you can map that in the app. We're gonna get to the app a little later. Then you have this wireless antenna for Bluetooth, and again, we're gonna get to that with the app, and we're gonna get to that with the uh, AirStep light in a bit, and then our function and power switch. You'll notice in the front, we have five heavy-duty foot switches with LEDs on each of them. So let me talk about this crazy setup I have here today. I tried to make it as complicated as possible. What I'm using is I got my guitar, it's going into this VHT Valvulator GP3 preamp. This is a great preamp. It's all tube, it's got three channels. This has MIDI, but it also has relay switches for all the parameters on here. Today we're not using the MIDI, I wanted to focus on the relays just to show you how powerful they are. So we're going to guitar, into here, then there's a uh, loop that goes before this that's also controlled here, the effects loop, and I have this old Boss Overdrive pedal going in that loop with the noise suppressor on it because it's so old that it makes a lot of noise. But the reason I'm using this Boss today is because it has a remote input that switches it from a green overdrive channel to a red distortion channel, and we're gonna use the air step to remotely change that as well. The output of the valvulator is going into my HX stomp, which is taking care of post effects and an impulse response for recording. Then the output of this is going into Pro Tools. So now we're looking at the back of everything because I want to show you how this is all set up and patched into the air step. MIDI out one is going to my HX stomps MIDI in. Foot switch out one, this is actually a TRS cable. It has the uh, tip ring and sleeve, you can see. The two little uh, circles there, two black rings. That is going into my preamps channel changing uh, relay. Then we actually have a TRS to dual mono cable coming out of foot switch two. One side, the tip, is going into the effects loop control of the VHT. The ring is going into the remote control of my pedal. And that's it. That's how everything's set up. Uh, and this is gonna control a lot of stuff just with these three cables plugged in. Now, the HX Stomp is amazing. It does a lot of stuff, but it has three foot switches and I have six blocks, so I need more control over that and that's where the air step is gonna come in. So let me talk about this preset. First, I have a compressor. Then I have a harmonizer. There's my impulse response. I have a chorus, a delay, and a reverb, all right? and I'm gonna control all of these things. The way I'm gonna use this today, the way I want to set up the air step is I want these first three buttons to be like presets, and then these two buttons are going to be toggles, so I can toggle things within the presets. Not presets on the stomp, but presets of this whole rig where everything's gonna change. So how do we set this up? Now we have to go into the app. So now we're looking at the air step app. You'll notice there are five buttons here, A, B, C, D, and E, that correspond with the five foot switches on the air step pedal. We also have MIDI in, expression one and two, which we're, we won't be using today. Uh, and we also have a row down here for the air step light, which we'll get to in a little bit. So I've already pre-programmed a bunch of this stuff, but I left foot switch A open for us to do together. So I'm gonna hit A, and we have a blank canvas. The air step can actually send up to eight MIDI messages or hardware messages to relays per foot switch. So let's program that together now. So the first thing I wanna program is what's gonna happen with the valvulator, with the VHT over here. So I will add a new message, and where it says message type, 
I'll change it to foot switch and I want to do foot switch I want to do the ring and tip for foot switch one and I want to turn it off latching then I want to do another one this is going to control the effects loop on here and this is going to be tip two and that is going to be off latching all right so that takes care of the VHT preamp here now let's get into some of the MIDI stuff so I have all of these blocks inside the HX stomp can, uh, controlled by CC numbers so that's how we're gonna do it here so the first one on my clean sound that I'm trying to make here I want my first block the compressor to be on and that's controlled by CC number 20 and to make it on I'm going to put the value to 127 so that's set up and then I want to make sure when I hit this anything I don't want to be on is going to be off set to zero so in this next one this is going to be 21 which is my harmonizer and that's going to be off zero so we'll keep it there the next one is going to be my chorus which we want on so that's going to be 23 and these numbers are just numbers that I picked arbitrarily they can be whatever you want depending on your setup so this will be on good and then the next one which is the delay that is I have that set to 26 that will be off as well and then my reverb which I have set to 25 that will be on okay I'm gonna hit done then uh, let me name it so we'll call this clean chorus reverb done and then we hit save there's my name and it'll write it to the air step save successful great so now let's see what happens I'll go on another one so now when I hit the first button it went to the clean channel on my VHT and if you'll notice on the HX stomp it's got my compressor on my chorus on and my reverb on so it worked great so now we have the first channel set up my first foot switch for the second foot switch I want to go to the orange channel here on my preamp and I want to engage this effects loop I also want a little bit of delay from the HX stomp so let's talk about how to do that I have a lot of stuff happening here on this switch so the first message is going to uh, ring one which is to control which is I believe to turn off my clean channel and then we have one going to two tip which is to turn on the effects loop then I have a bunch of MIDI messages so 21 is going to turn off my harmonizer 23 turns off the chorus 25 turns off the reverb 26 turns on the delay now I have uh, one tip off I believe that turns on the rhythm channel and then we have the compressor off over here so let's see how that works so by turning on the effects loop now we're actually sending the guitar through this overdrive pedal before going into the amp now something I mentioned before is that this is a dual overdrive pedal it means it has two modes as a green mode and a red mode so check this out on switch E over here I have a, an overdrive mode toggle so I put it into toggle mode right there and I'm controlling ring 2 now so when the toggle is on ring 2 is in the off position when the toggle is off ring 2 is in the on position so check out what this does <laughs> How cool is that? I'm able to change the mode on my distortion pedal from the foot switch. So let's take a look at what's happening on the third foot switch. So over here, what I want to happen is I want to go on the red channel of this preamp and I want to turn on the harmonizer and I want to turn off the effects loop. So we run the effects loop in foot switch two. Let's see what happens here. So now we have ring one off, 
tip one on, tip two off. That's turning off the effects loop. Uh, in MIDI land, we have the harmonizer switch to on and all the other effects except for delay switch to off. So now when I hit that, So there's a harmonizer. But let's say I want to be able to change the scale from major harmony to minor harmony. Now I can do that with this. So I'm going to hit D and you'll notice that I have a toggle again. Toggle mode set up and I'm doing control change 22 which is inside the helix. I have that set to major and minor. Let's go over and take a look at it. There we go. You can see major. So on the toggle on position, uh, CC22 is on, and toggle off is CC22 off. So let's see what happens. All right, foot switch three is pressed. Let's listen to the major harmony. Major, let's hit foot switch four, change it to minor. So now I'm controlling not only the bypasses, but the parameters inside the blocks of the HX stomp from the same foot switch that I'm using to control everything else. So that's how I have everything set up right now. And that's pretty cool. And you know, I have everything hooked up here with the wires and it's very dynamic, very flexible. But now let's bring the light. The air step light doesn't have all of the, the jacks on the back. So what can this do? Well, the way I have it set up here in, in the app, and you can set this up any way. You can just basically make this an extension of this if I wanted to have more presets or more control over the amp or, or what's going on inside the HX stomp. That's up to you. The way I'm using this today is I want to use this as a duplicate of this. And here's why. Let's say I have all of this stuff in one rack, right? I want to go to a gig, I want to put my rack down, I don't want to run any cables. Let's say I have a wireless in here, I just want to put the rack down, plug it in, turn it on, and play. I don't want to run a cable all the way out to the front of the stage, I want to just run this. Oh yeah, I should mention this right now. Um, you see this power cable? You don't need it. Battery powered, bam. So even easier, I can just put this whole thing down here in a rack, go to the gig, plug this in, put this at the front of the stage, and I'm good to go. So all I've done is I've made copies of all of my presets here on the app. So if you look at, uh, for example, uh, major minor, you see how it's turning uh, CC number 22 on and off? If I go down here to D, it does the same thing. I just made a copy of it. I duplicated the settings here inside the app. So now, let's see if that actually works. Okay, let's go to... Um, there's my clean sound. There's my dirty sound. Now check this out. Let's see if I can control my distortion pedal from here wirelessly. Oh, there we go. Pretty cool. Uh, and then we have our third channel with the, with the harmony. Let's go to minor. So I can put this on the floor and have fun. So that's the air step from Exonic and the air step light. This is actually a really easy way to control multiple pieces of gear. You don't need a gigantic MIDI controller. It's very small, lightweight, it's metal. You can really stomp on this thing. And uh, the air step light is a great addition to this. You can extend the controls here or you can mirror it like the way I'm doing it and have all this stuff in one pre-cabled rack with a wireless system, plop this in the front of the stage and you're good to go. 
I want to thank Guitar World for making this video possible, and I want to thank Exonic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.